What's going on everyone? Odie Matthews here and today we are taking a look at the Baboon to the Moon 40 liter go bag. Okay, so I found out about this company because they kept popping up on my Facebook feed, which I thought was a little weird. So I looked at them, I sent a message, reached out and was like, hey, uh, your bag looks pretty awesome and I'll show you why I think it's really awesome here in a minute. But they also have some really cool uh, designs that they put on the inside of their bags. Um, I'll show you which one I got. But I reached out to them and I was like, hey, I wanna do a review on your bag. It's really cool, I have a trip coming up. Boom, got myself a bag, went on a trip, used it on the trip, was impressed, I will say that, but I do have a couple caveats with this bag because as we know, no bag is perfect. But overall, I will tell you my general impression on this bag. All right, so first of all, the materials. It's like a tarpaulin nylon blend here. You got like this rough, rigid, like rubbery material on the bottom and then everything else on the bag is like that nice, like almost like tarpaulin type material. And it's a really rigid, awesome, sturdy bag. I've slung this thing around the back of a pickup truck and everything. And yeah, there's some scuff marks on it, but like the durability on this thing is incredible. Also, it keeps its shape. Whatever you put in this bag is definitely a form-fitting bag like we saw with the Nomadic uh, travel bag or the Wander Provoke. It kind of keeps its shape as you pack it. And this bag is no exception to that. It is 40 liters, so there's a lot of space in here. So if you don't have it packed out that much, it can kind of be a little bit smaller or a bit looser on the sides and the top, which is fine. Honestly, I kind of like that I didn't have it all the way packed out because of other reasons. But honestly, overall, packing this bag out and it keeping its shape was a huge bonus. The other thing I want to point on this bag is the zippers. These are all YKK zippers, lockable here on the main compartment zippers. And honestly, all these zippers, they feel really nice. They're really smooth and easy to use zippers. There's not a lot of zippers because there's not a lot of compartments on that, on that bag, this bag. Uh, but the zippers overall were really easy to use getting in and out of this main compartment, which this is the main access, this flap up against your back if you use it in backpack mode. Uh, overall, really easy to get in and out of, really easy to use these zippers to, you know, kind of like tug on them around the, the curvatures of these internal, po this pocket, I don't know what I'm saying, the curvature of the pocket is really easy to crank it around those, which was really, really nice. The other thing to point on this bag is the grab handles. There's two on this bag if you don't include these wonderful uh, duffel bag straps because it can go backpack or duffel bag which I think is pretty awesome for the way I use it and the way I travel. It's always a nice little feature to have that option. But these handles here, the same on top as this in the bottom, it is a very rigid, easy, kind of thin. It's got this nice um, like webbing material around just another piece of that rubber that goes all the way around the bag. And it's just real sturdy, really easy to use, really easy to grab. Uh, two points of access on this bag, nothing on the sides. Um, I'd probably put side handles on this bag uh, just because it, it couldn't hurt. And honestly, four points of access, actually five if you include the straps up here. It, could, it wouldn't be a bad thing to include just so you could kind of carry it like this. Or if you're grabbing it real quick, you can grab it. Uh, overall though, the straps on this bag, the handles on this bag, really, really nice. Speaking of straps, I set it out of turn, let's get to the straps. Okay, so right off the bat you have these are your backpack straps. Very thin, foam, simple straps with their Baboon logo, which the Baboon logo is also right here as well, and it is on the zipper poles, which I think is just, so, so normally I, I would kind of throw my hands up and be like, dude, come on, really? Like you're gonna do that much branding? Come on. But the name of the company is Baboon to the Moon. And I think that warrants me. I, I'm okay with the, the branding because I have baboon all over my bag. I know it might make me a hypocrite and everything, but honestly, as far as branding goes, naming your company Baboon to the Moon and then just having baboon on a bag, I don't know, something about it just, just kind of makes me giggle a little bit. I like it. But back to these straps. These are your um, backpack straps, and then you have the folding over. And here's a little secret of the the patterns I was talking about, a little, little sneak peek. And then obviously, you know, you have your duffel bag, which is uh, these snap together. Again, similar to the um, Nomadic travel bag, only these are not on the same harness system. So these, when you have it in duffel bag mode, it kind of uh, keeps these backpack straps in and you can carry it like a duffel. Um, I did both, I honestly, because it really isn't that big of a deal to transition. And I also wore it like a backpack. And a couple things about this bag if you're wearing it as a backpack. One, no sternum strap. Two, no hip straps. Um, so that, those are two things to be um, 
to be to, to, to look out for I would say because you don't have those two options now granted this bag is definitely meant to be more of a duffel than a backpack I think that if you're going to the airport you can really put it on your back like this quickly 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 get to where you need to go and then put it down and then you have this duffel bag when you get on the plane or you know when you get where you're going or something like that I don't think you really need to use this duffel uh, as a backpack that much because it's really easy to carry as a duffel but overall it's got uh, nice load lifting straps and one thing that kind of threw me off is to adjust it you crank up on the adjustable straps here instead of like the normal crank down and then you know usually you you release up to, to to loosen and then you crank down to tighten but in this one you crank up to tighten and then down to loosen it took me a minute to get used to that but it's honestly it's not that bad it's kind of nice i mean so different than doing it the normal way except for it's backwards i guess you'd say but i am 5'8 roughly 165 pounds as of my medical physical today that i had uh honestly the bag sits nice it's like i said it's a 40 liter bag it fits really nice it sits really nice um it does get uncomfortable if you wear it for a long time and you have it super packed out i don't have mine packed out that much and it kind of got a little uncomfortable but again you know for the way these straps are and the materials that they're made out of and how they're just kind of foamy and just there no sternum strap no hip strap the amount of time that I, the, the length of time that i could wear this without it hurting was surprising because I honestly thought I wouldn't be able to wear it for that long and then it would start hurting but honestly it doesn't feel bad carrying it in backpack or duffel bag mode either one is honestly kind of nice I will say this when you have it in backpack mode you have this top flap which is the main compartment up against your back no real breathability there um, but again this isn't a bag that you would take as a daily carry. This isn't a bag that you would take up a mountain. This is very much a adventure style bag because of the massive opening of the container on the inside, or it is very much a travel bag, get where you're going, bring a packable day pack, which I highly suggest if you are interested in a packable day pack, check out my Wandered Veer uh, 18 liter packable day pack bag video. I'll put it up there somewhere. That's a great packable bag. I didn't need it on this trip, otherwise I would have taken it. So you won't see it inside of here, but that is a great one to take with you. Okay, uh, I think that pretty much takes care of everything on the outside. Um, you have lash straps here on both sides of the bag. Uh, didn't really need these because I didn't really have it packed out so much that I needed to tighten it down. You've got little ringy ding hooky majiggers here. Um, I guess you could attach uh, mole mole attachments if you needed to or if you wanted to on the outside of this bag, which because there's not really any accessible pockets on the outside that might be a good addition um, as i showed in the kanai uh, Sar sarkina sriracha sauce bag i had my own kind of like quick access pocket that i installed because of the mole pad uh, ability of it whatever you want to call that i'm losing my mind already um, so you can definitely do it on this bag as well so with that we will go ahead and dive into the pockets so first off the bat you only have one pocket on the outside and that is this one right here it is in a way your quick access pocket and it was the most it was the thing i had the most trouble with on this bag so what i did is this was my throwaway pocket i didn't have a quick access on this pocket on my trip this is where i put my car keys and anything else that i just i need to have with me but i never need to get access to because unfortunately I don't know what it was about this pocket, but the way this lip is over it, it was kind of a pain in the butt to open, and it was kind of a pain in the butt to close all the way. I had to kind of like, it wasn't, it wasn't quick access sensibility. It wasn't quick access like, like I would like, um, like I would like, like, cause you know, like what I'm talking about, like, like totally like, um, stop saying that. But honestly, it, it works better as a throwaway pocket anyways. It's kind of a bummer that there's no quick access, you know, even like right here on the bag. This is, this is one of my caveats, is that I wish there was a something on the sides here, on either side, or that this pocket just didn't have this lip, I guess, which I guess is kind of supposed to be like the rain resistant because there's not weather guard zippers on here. So maybe these, these lips are kind of supposed to act as that, which makes sense, but it's still kind of a bummer not to have a quick access you know, to put your sunglasses or a quick pair of headphones or your or your telephone or anything you could use this as that i mean you definitely could i just found it was a little bit i don't know inconvenient to get in and out of there uh the other thing i will say is that i wish there was a shoe compartment on this side i understand why there's not because of the way this material is and everything um 
but that would have been kind of nice to have. I mean, not every duffel bag has to have a shoe compartment, but this one definitely would have benefited from that. Okay, and with that, we're going to move into the main compartment, because like I said, there's not a lot of compartments on this bag. Um, and as you can kind of see, uh, this is just one big, big chasm. There's two pockets on the inside, and there's a pocket up top. Uh, this pocket up top was more or less my quick access. I just shoved a hard drive and a little notebook for my work in there. Um, this was where I actually put a lot of my snacks. Um, I will, if you look on my Instagram, I'll put it up on the screen. I actually have a full picture where I laid everything out that I put in this bag and I had all my snacks on there. They worked really well. Excuse me, I kind of almost burped into the microphone. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but like I said, these zips, this mesh is really nice. And I don't know if you can see it there, but that is the pattern. I want to talk about this for a minute because this is what really drew me to this bag, to drew me to this company. This very much could have just been a simple bag. Just a simple bag in different colors with just a simple interior. And it would have been a pretty simple, basic bag. But what Baboon to the Moon has done is implemented fun and excitement into their bag. And let me explain. They have different patterns. I've got the octopus and astronaut pattern because they're best friends. At least in my bag, they're best friends. Maybe in your friend, in your bag, they're like arch enemies or something. But in my bag, they're best friends. And what this bag has on the inside, and you can kind of see it on the duffel bag handle like I peeked at a little bit, is this whole pattern, this bright pattern that lets you see inside the bag. Which honestly, I mean, that's cool. I hope I'm not alone. I hope people comment below if you agree. Don't comment if you don't agree because I need people to agree with me because this is really cool. I just love the idea that they were like, this bag is cool. This bag is functional. This is a good bag. This is a great bag. But I love that they just added this like little fun element to it where you have this cool pattern on the inside. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I just like it. it. Makes it easy to see inside the bag. I think it was innovative. It's what drew me to the bag. It's really cool. Um, they have really cool like synopsis on their website if you go um, when you go to buy this bag because obviously you're going to. Um, you can look at their about me section. It has like all these really cool <laughs> breakdowns of just how they are. It's just a really fun company. They just they just seem like a bunch of, of bros and dudes and dudettes just like hanging out and having fun. And it's really cool. I really like it. So moving on to the inside. Uh, second caveat and or third caveat and the last thing I have an issue with is there's no place for your laptop. Um, I just had to kind of set mine on top of everything that was in my bag because there's no laptop sleeve or compartment or anything of the sorts and I didn't want to put it on the bottom so it just kind of rested on top of everything that I had in here. Um, so that could be a deal breaker for you but um, mine survived. <laughs> so uh, you know, I mean yours probably will too. Uh, so you know. Okay, what else I have on here is at the top I had my tech pouch. This is uh, the other side of the boundary supply port kit. It's where I keep all my wires and stuff. It's where I also now keep my uh, PXC 550 Sennheiser noise canceling headphones as well as just a bunch of other extra cables and extra aux cord because whenever you travel and you're traveling by road which is what I did, I drove, um, you always need an extra aux cord just in case because you never know when you might run into something where you need an aux cord. So I brought one great little uh, minimal tech pouch here. Really really love this one. This one's probably my favorite right now. Okay, the second thing I have in here is my toiletry kit, which right now I'm still rocking and using because I just really love it. Uh, the K25 Los Angeles toiletry kit that just, I think it's on Indigo right now, now, right, Indigo, <laughs> Indiegogo right now, Indigo right now, now. Um, really great toiletry kit. Um, down the road in a few months, I plan on getting my hands on all the toiletry kits that I want and doing just a ton of videos in a row in one week about all the toiletry kits. This one's really, really great. I love this. Uh, great company, just fun company. Uh, they have a great towel. I bought their bath towel, by the way. They have towels as well. Really cool, really nice, wonderful. Uh, okay, and then I had um, one little packing cube that I put uh, just a little bit of clothes in, which was mainly acting as my dirty clothes packing cube. Um, I kind of just put a little bit in it, and then as I emptied it, I put my dirty clothes in here because I work out in the field, so my clothes get pretty dirty, I get pretty sweaty, that's pretty nasty. Ah. So. That's my extra packing cube, and then obviously my main set of clothes went in my big peak design packing cube. These are all my clothes with the exception of a couple little things that I use for work in that one. Um, really just work clothes, uh, three pairs of pants, four pairs of shirts, a uh, couple little extra like gym shorts and t-shirt because I don't really do much except for work when I'm on the road. So that was really cool, but packing cube by Peak Design is really good. And then the last thing I have in here, and you're like, what, the last thing? Yeah, I didn't really bring that much because honestly I didn't really need to. But the last thing I have in here 
are, of course, you guessed it, my Suave Packable Shoes. I have a video about these up now. It came out last week. These are incredible shoes. Get your hand on them. Watch my video, full breakdown. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then that's pretty much it for the main compartment. And you can kind of see, you know, it's just a big empty space. And what I think is great about this bag is it doubles if you didn't want to use it as a travel bag, it would work great as a gear hauler. Um, I could see putting all my climbing and all my girlfriend's climbing stuff in here and this being a great bag to take out when we go climbing and stuff. So honestly, this bag has multiple functions. And also on the inside, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, there's one elastic internal pocket and then there's another one on this side that is zippered and that is it. So there is a total of one, two, three, four, four pockets, one big internal chasm with this awesome print on it. And that is, that is it. I mean, that is basically the bag in a nutshell. I really enjoyed using this more than I honestly thought I was going to. When I got it and I unpacked it and everything and I started packing, I was like, this is, Whew, this is not going to be good. This is this is going to be a hard review for me because I'm going to be pretty negative. Because off the out of the gate, I was like, uh, mm, uh, not really sure about this. But as I used it, I was like, okay, you know what? This is actually a really good bag. And then the more I used it, I was like, all right, you know what? I can get behind this. This is a pretty this is a pretty good bag. I'm definitely going to use it again. Um, it definitely fits a certain trip style. I did not go through airport through airports with this. But I imagine that for a lot of us that want to use bags like the Peak Design or the uh, Milliken Smith, the roll top as a travel bag, wouldn't really do well with using this bag in that way. This bag has to be used a very certain way in order to be functional and usable. I think this is a bag that challenged me and what I liked about it is it really asked me, what do you need access to on your trip? And I think that's kind of a cool thing to do because most of the time when I fly, I really only have my tech pouch in my hand and my laptop or not even my laptop sometimes maybe it's just my phone and this is really all I have and I just shove it back in there when I'm done and this bag kind of asks you you know do you really need to get access to this can it just go away do you really need it and honestly I think that's good I think it's good not to have access to a lot of things that maybe you don't need because then you're that person on the plane or train or car or whatever that's pulling all this stuff out that you don't need and you have to put it all back and it gets all jumbled and messed up and this bag kind of keeps everything nice and organized without you know having to jeopardize that and i really liked it i really like that it's very minimal on organization because as you know i'm a very big packing cube and pouch kind of person when it comes to packing for bags so for me this bag worked perfectly and for you i think it'll work perfectly too if it fits your kind of travel style this is more of a you know, this is a bag that would work really well without packing cubes too uh, or pouches i mean you could really fit everything you need in this without really having to worry about it and i really like that i think that's a good bag i really like the company they were a joy to talk to so much fun shout out to baboon um you know they're not sponsoring this by the way i was kind of always afraid to say that but they're not sponsoring or affiliated or anything you know this is a bag i got i want to get my hands on i got my hands on it you know i'm doing a review because i want to do a review that's how this always kind of works and the day that it doesn't is the day i'll let you know if i you know if it's sponsorship or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Um, but overall, Baboon to the moon. Pretty good bag. 40 liter. It comes in a 60 liter if you want it to be a little bit bigger. It comes in all kinds of uh, pictures. Not pictures. It comes in all kinds of colors and stuff. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so, you know, get your hands on it. I think it's a good bag. Uh, it's definitely worth the price. Uh, this 40 liter is at $150. It works really well. It's really well built. Super durable. Great materials. Um, just a great little company to kind of support. And like I always say, when you support the little guys, it makes you feel good. Um, so get out there and do that. If you have any comments or questions or would like to know more about this bag, let me know down below. I'll do my best to send you more or get you more or take pictures or whatever you need, answer any questions you might have. I'm here to do that for you. If you have any questions about anything else that I mentioned in this video, any kind of products or anything like that, let me know. My dog is drinking out of his water. If there's a bag you want me to try to get my hands on to do a review on, let me know down below and I will make it a priority to get that bag, use it because I travel quite a lot, and then do a review about it. I like how you're not thirsty when I'm not recording, but then you're thirsty when I am recording. Okay, fine, whatever. Dogs, rule the world. So that is it for me this week. Let me know what you think below. Get your hands on a Baboon to the Moon bag. And thank you guys so much. Leave this video a like. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. And I will see you guys next week.